Kelsey talk with Willie Simmons, head coach FAMU, coming out of the break. Two offensive linemen and an already depleted offensive line. They bumped up some freshmen that weren't going to play. They traveled with 10. Quickly to Jeremy Musa. What a great start for Jeremy Musa and FAMU early in this game. For the Tar Heel secondary, and so far it feels like Florida A&M's winning it. There's a good play. No, gets out of it. He, that was Moose on the carry. The defense, I got fooled by the ball fake. Cedric Gray looking to add more points. They give up the middle to Davis. Nothing doing. Brought down by Fahasik and Gray. In the field range. Only a three-man rush. And there's the hitter over the middle to Tyree. And he's not going to pick up the first down, but it does. Now it's Logan Diggs trying to get the edge and turn the corner and does. Another Notre Dame first down. To the 21-yard line of North Carolina. 17 more on four minutes to go in the first half. There's some play action on the fake. There's Mayer to the 10-yard line. Down to the five-yard line. Back in his way, close to the two. First and goal for Notre Dame. Blitz off the edge. Mayer makes the catch again. Another third down conversion for Notre Dame out to midfield. Again. The Irish preserve the timeout. Little wheel route down the sideline as Tyree makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Picks up four more. So 39 seconds to go. Hill on these run stunts to try to create a negative play. Lorenzo Styles. Six more on first down. And again, Saturday Night Football presented by Capital Time in his career last week. This is his first 100-yard rushing game. Hard to think it's going to be his last as he's now up to 104 with that last carry. Estime's a great story, man. Estime. Pounds his way inside the 10. Down to about the 7. Calling the Jet Brown game last week. They had Kevin Stefanski mic'd up. Picture. Third and two, and it's Duke to the center. And gains the first down. Cedric Gray with his 48th tackle for the first down. On a play fake over the middle, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Carolina. That's Gray. And North Carolina. In the country in terms of takeaways. Already have gotten a takeaway, and they've done a good job defending the run, which certainly was not the case last week against Notre Dame. Gain of three for Keyshawn. And Wells, once again, a handoff for King, and not much. Noah Taylor, the first man to meet him. He'll pick up three. Rain has been off and on here at Chapel Hill throughout the day. Calls back to throw, rifles that one complete. Going right over the middle of the strike to Jaden Blue for seven. Wells has another idea. Going to hand that one off, and they will pick up the first down. Bryce Duke, the freshman with the carry for three yards. Loyalty, if you will, as a family at the school. And you know, I think for him, there's probably an expectation, maybe in his mind, that he would be here at this stage doing this. Tony Gibson, the former West Virginia guy, or, you know, the defense coordinator for NC State. And, okay, to your point about Dave Dorn, they have talent there, and they are tough, mm. and they that'll be the challenge to try to slow him down. Jason Brown in a quarterback here for Virginia Tech, and it's Black trying to run outside. Met by Cedric Gray. And Josh Gaddis, new coordinator, not on the same page with this quarterback. Henry Parrish on first down, getting the handoff, and no running room whatsoever. Kevin Hester and Cedric Gray on us two games, 12 for 34 on third down. Here's Van Dyke with time, slings it complete, and extra effort gets a first down across the 40 for Michael Redding, a gain of 16. Van Dyke to the air, and he's got a man. Close to the first down is his tight end, Will Mallory, a player early on in the year. So it's third down and two in North Carolina territory. They'll keep it on the ground, and the heels are all over it. Jalen Knighton pushed back. Cedric Gray there is by Mallory. And Dyke to the air again with time again over the middle. Again, not on target, but the catch is made. Brashard Smith had to reach back and stick. 
And Dyke's going to hand it off again. Out past the 20, Parrish lowering the shoulder and getting a first down to the 25-yard line. Staten by Tennessee today, man. What a job Josh Heifel has done. Downfield Van Dyke in the pass on target to Jalen Knighton out of the backfield. He's like the same guy we saw a couple weeks ago against Middle Tennessee State. Play fake here, Van Dyke in trouble, and does well to get out of there, make sure he got outside the tackle box before Cedric Gray could. They could cut this thing to under to a one score, it'd be huge. Still had that timeout. And the catch is made and out of bounds, stopping the clock with nine seconds left. Michael were taking an hour of real time. Van Dyke over the middle, clock will stop on a first down. Did get it, so the clock will stop. They also have their timeout. Time going to call. Bring the tight end in motion. Knighton gets the call, and he fumbles the ball. He got the first down, and then he coughed it up, and it's recovered by Geo Biggers of North. So to try to get pressure in Van Dyke's face. Van Dyke's been so good on third down. Just one incompletion. Surveying the defense. Puts it in there for a first down inside the 35-yard line to Smith, who was injured earlier. Keep hopes alive of a comeback. Van Dyke, Mallory first down, out to the 47. The clock stops at 41 seconds. Get in 10 from the Miami 47, 35 seconds left. Van Dyke looking, everybody covered. Van Dyke trying to create, dumps it off, and they get out of bounds, yep. Blue Devils first snap in plus territory, and this is more to the perimeter and a first down for Duke. Cedric Gray takes him out of bounds at the 34 of the field on third down for Leonard. To his right, Leonard has room. Wow, a big lick. Cedric Gray Lovely flips Leonard. him over at the... Any sort of urgency offensively shortening the game. Here is Waters trying to get to the perimeter and Cedric Gray hits him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one. Del Mullen now split. Duke gonna run it with Waters. And he's not going to get it. Carolina, who is a swing. Leonard wants to throw. To his right, can run for the first down and gets it. Three to the field, two left to the boundary. Carolina rushes three. Leonard's going to throw incomplete. No flag. He was looking for Calhoun, defended by the linebacker. Hammond will give it to Anaconda. Trying to get to the perimeter, and Cedric Gray runs him down. Lee against Syracuse. First down give, Rodney Hammond picks up a yard or so. Give is to Izzy. And he will rattle for a couple of yards to the Tar Heel 28. Cedric Gray, the Jared Wayne. Second down and eight for the Panthers. Low snap, Slovis fields it, now in trouble. Hit by Gray as he throws to the end zone, and it's incomplete. And a flag is going to be thrown on. A Banacanda to pistol with Slovis. All three timeouts remain for both schools. Is he going to get about three to the 28? One final note about May, and it was interesting to hear Mac Brown talk about this yesterday. Third and short. A Banacanda took a lick. Did he fall forward for enough? I think so. Gray, the tackle. Here's a Banacanda trying to get left now. He tries to hit the cutback and gets to midfield. And here we go with third and about a yard and a half. Cedric Gray, the tackle. A Banacanda straight on. Knocked down. Ball loose. Abanacanda. Shaw tried to wrap him up. Instead, it's Gray, the junior from Charlotte. Pitt has been held scoreless. Slova spins one for Wayne, shy of midfield, and Carolina rallies to the football. Duck was there. And keep the potent Carolina offense on the sideline if we want to have a chance tonight. And they'll run it on second down. It'll be third and about four. Dante Smith, it's Tyson Pumachan. He will keep it, and he will be thrown for a loss. We knew that we would see both quarterbacks tonight. 
and we've seen the ESPN Deportes. Rush of the 49ers, but that's, that's still a sore subject around here in the Carolinas. Well, they've got North Carolina to root for right <laughs> absolutely, now. Absolutely, absolutely. Set up an undefeated showdown at the Shoe next weekend. Of course, that would be winner take all to get into uh, the Big Ten championship game. Pumachan out of the gun. Now run it up the middle with Dante Smith, and he runs right into Cedric Gray. It is well for the Pac-12 conference. USC trying to remain in contention. Taking on UCLA as Jamie Felix gets the carry after the four. Now can the offense help him out? Just 68 yards of total offense. They go back to Zach Gibson and will run the screen. And it's a good one for a first down out to the <laughs> last 10 seconds. Got it together. Well, Kevin and Sacho got you all covered. <laughs> Sam Macho. Let's call him Sacho. <laughs> Tyson Pumachon is back in at quarterback. Pumachon on the RPL. Hall cannot get to the outside. <laughs> How about the checklist for Carolina? Three yards per play. Equaling 100 yards total in the first half. Swing it out to Hassan Hall, and he'll pick up more first down yardage. Clock rolling towards four minutes to go here in the third. Looking to set up the screen and complete. Almost picked. Yeah, but uh, talking about Brent. Play it conservative, and Dante Smith barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's fourth down. One for four in the red zone tonight in terms of touchdowns for Carolina. And now Georgia Tech with the four-point lead and the third-string quarterback. Can they hold it last? Zach Gibson lets that play clock run down. Short yardage out to the 25 for Hassan Hall. And manage the offense. Pumachan, nothing doing. Hey, it's college football rivalry weekend beginning Thanksgiving night. Coming up next. Give it to Shipley. He got only 15 carries last week, which the Tigers will take it. Set up in a 7-7 game now at the 23. Mafa, left-handed pass back to Klubnik. Shoved out of bounds. Career long for Potter's 52, but he's got enough leg to make one from longer than that. Klubnik running has the first down and a lot more. Comfortably in field goal range. Started his career at Clemson. One season there, transferred to Northwestern, was there for four years, did not play very much. And he has returned to Clemson this year as a grad. In Charlotte where the trophy presentation for the Subway ACC Championship game will be seen on the ESPN app and the ACC Network as soon as we're finished here. Clemson 30 plus points in all but one game this season. The loss at Notre Dame, they lost 35 to 14. House from previous years. <laughs> he has a Santa come and Santa goes up on the roof. Well, now with Dabo's fancy house, it's more like a, what do you call it, a balcony. Yeah, terrace.